Hey guys, welcome to a Brick Separator. Today we're really going to be taking a look at the LEGO Super Mario Flop Drop. Um, so this was a set that I wasn't planning on getting, but uh, I got a really good deal on this. It was, um, uh, so yeah, I was pretty happy with the price that I paid, but um, that's I think that it's a little expensive when it was at forty dollars. I got it for I think twenty something, twenty two or something like that. Which is a pretty good deal, at least to me. But, um, you know, <laughs> without further ado, I'll get into the review. And, um, yeah, so let's just take a look at the start at the bottom here. So it has this really nice skull cart. Um, it's just like slides back and forth. And, um, it's Lego Mario comes and stands on that. And then it basically passes through these and hits these little red Technic pins. And that's what actually drops Flop, as you'll see later on in the review. Then uh, this is the Lava Bubble off to the side. And he can actually launch. When Flop comes down, he does this. And, uh, well, I have him connected. Does this. And he just goes, launches like that. And Lego Mario can go pick up the coins. Like this, you just use a one-hit kill, and you get the coin from that. So it's it's pretty good. You know, it's not um, anything's ridiculous, but I like the I like how these little lava bubbles look. Uh, pretty much like what they look in the game. Then on the other side, you also have a never never lava bubble. Um, he doesn't have any feature uh, with him. But, you know, definitely looks good. And then, I'll give you a look at the main feature of the set. The whole flomp dropping feature. So, turn our Lego Mario back on. And so, when you pit him on the, on the, um, skull cart, whatever it's called, it starts playing the music. And, basically... I just go back and forth, and you go twice, um, and he will drop. And this guy went flying, as you saw. And to reset it, you just bring it all the way back up, and run like that. And do it again. Lava bubble goes flying, so it's a pretty cool feature. And then Lego Mario's comes up to the top, where... Womp has his action tile, and uh, you just do the correct number of hits um, to kill him, and get the coins from him. So it's a pretty cool feature, and um, works a lot better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a reset. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, and the harder version. Uh, on this side, it's pretty difficult. You know, this guy slides off so easily. He got dizzy. <laughs> but yeah, so keep in mind, Lego Mario doesn't come in the set. You still have to get him from the Star Course. So if you don't have a Star Course, it wouldn't really have a lot of those features. Um, in terms of Flomp up here, I actually think he looks pretty good. I mean, he definitely could have looked better. Uh, especially around the sides, but I don't think it's too bad, especially uh, considering they wanted to integrate this function with it. I think if the function had been a part of it, then it wouldn't look very good, but I think they did the best they could considering what their uh, constraints. But yeah, so the face looks awesome, the spikes on the front look great. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this set. And, um,. You know, I liked it a lot more than I thought it would. Uh, I definitely don't think it's worth $40. I think it should have been $30 at most. Um, it's definitely a little bigger than I expected, but not too much. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the price that uh, I paid, but I would not I would not say $40 is good for this. I'd say let it go on sale, 20% off or something like that, and then that's when I'd pull the trigger. But... Um, if all things considered, I'm going to give this set a 8 out of 10 brick separators.
So if you liked today's video, check out several other ones here on the Brick Separator. See you soon.